welcome to the seize the means class today we will be discussing the question and with respect to what the model answer of it what should be the introduction body and the conclusion part or how to attempt this question the question that we at hand is basically even after decriminalizing section 377 of the constitution marriages of the same sex couples is not possible see why there is an opposition to these marriages and second part is how also highlight how supreme court in its judgment has upheld individual autonomy in merit so what we what are the basic demands of this question first of all we will have to pick up the keywords what the question is talking about first of all it is talking about the decriminalization of section 377 then it talks about second part that is opposition to same sex marriage same sex marriage and at the end it talks about the role of supreme court that how supreme court has basically talked about the individual autonomy or the individual freedom these are the three things that we have to talk and the questions is of 10 marks basically we have to write 150 words about it so these are the three things or the demand of the question that we have to answer if we want to get good marks so first of all coming to our introductory paragraph what we should write obviously the first thing that the question talks about is decriminalizing of section 377 so we will be starting with that that see what is 3 section 77 of the indian penal code it makes sex or marriage with the persons of same gender illegal so this is our basic introduction we are talking about what is section 377 then you will highlight obviously if it has specifically talked about the decriminalization that supreme court in navtej johor case decriminalized section 377 making gay sex legal this is our basic introduction okay that answers the first demand of the question then second part if you can highlight is basically what that is marriage of the same sex couples is not possible and there is an opposition to that so we will be trying to identifying a linking paragraph so that we can reach from here to the opposition of the marriage part so what we will be right that however despite the landmark judgment same sex marriages are not possible okay they have not been recognized under the hindu marriage act or the special marriage act so this answers our this part also that marriage of the same sex couple is not possible why because they have not been recognized under the special marriage act or the basically hindu marriage act then comes our basic major part of the question that is why there is an opposition to same sex marriages then we will be coming to our body part you will make a paragraph a headline that opposition to the same sex marriages arises due to the following reasons the first that we at at our hand is that is religious texts and sentimental values so i have already stated you in our current affairs class also that marriage in india is not only a basically civil partnership okay we have our religious notions or religious sentimental value attached to our marriages go and observe the marriages in your relatives uh, in your family in your neighborhood that how much or uh, of the religious activities or the religious symbols or the religious rituals that are involved while performing a marriage and marriage in india is defined as a sacred concept okay there is a lot of sacred notion that is attached with the concept of marriage so the notion of same sex marriage interferes with the religious notion or the religious sentimental value that is there that is why there is so much opposition to the concept of marriage basically that is highlighted here that marriages in societies like hindu they are very much part of their religion and derived and associated with the divine entities as well as religious texts and thereby significant sentimental values okay that is why basically you should identify that what is the concept of marriage with respect to religion 
ओके दैट इज वाई देर इज एन अपोजिशन इट इज स्टेटेड दैट बाय द पीपल और इट इज हेल्ड बाय द नोशन ऑफ द सोसाइटी इज दैट द सेम सेक्स मैरिज इज अगेंस्ट द रिलीजियस कंसेप्शन ऑफ मैरिज दैट इज ऑफ हेट्रोसेक्शुअल कपल्स एंड अ चाइल्ड बॉर्न आउट ऑफ देयर यूनियन सो इट डज नॉट फिट इन विद द रिलीजियस नोशन और द सेंटीमेंटल वैल्यूज द रिलीजियस रिचुअल्स दैट आर इन्वॉल्व वाइल परफॉर्मिंग द मैरिज देर आर सम रिचुअल्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वाइफ देर आर डिफरेंट रिचुअल्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू हजबेंड ओके और वॉट इज द रोल ऑफ द फैमिलीज how their nuptials are going to be performed that is why these things basically they do not get fit within the religious values and we are a traditional society we are not a basically totally developed society we are in the state of transition our tradition our values our culture holds a very much significance in our society that is why there is opposition to it then you will move on to second part just like the other earlier concepts that we have discussed i have we have written that there is an indian conception of the family okay that was a point that we made in our current affairs class also that centers what center has stated in the supreme court that living together as partner and having a same relationship okay or sexual activity of the same sex is not comparable with the indian family unit conception where there is a conception of a husband a wife and a children okay that is the indian notion of family and same sex marriage is opposed to that notion okay that is the thing then you will write another point that is with respect to stereotypes that stereotypes attached by the society to same sex marriage considering it as unnatural okay or against the laws of the nature that is a major problem even if the government makes the law remember we what we had discussed in the current phase class that even if the government makes the law it will be seen as a imposition by the uh, superior authority on the people but people will never be willing to adopt it why because it is the basic conception of the indian family okay that is different from the same sex marriage and people hold it that it is unnatural it is against the laws of nature and you can also highlight here again that that is why there is discrimination or there is social stigma attached with the same sex or the homogeneous couples okay you can also write an example with respect to this that why that is why in society they are called they are basically called with slurs there are particular names okay social stigma that is attached to the individual who is basically in the same sex partnership so you will write that basically stereotypes attached by the society okay that is a major thing the what the society thinks society thinks that it is unnatural or against the laws of nature that is why there is discrimination social stigma and example is that is why they are being called names in the society next one what is the impact on other laws that was also basically discussed with within our current phase class that there are many aspects with respect to such as inheritance is there adoption is there religious ecosystem for example i have earlier also told you that there are some specific religious rituals that are performed by the male that are performed by the wives and the families okay of the hindu society that are critically hinged on the religious sanskar or vivaha okay marriage in india is basically very attached to the religious sentimental value and it is not easy even after we sorry even after we recognize the same sex marriage it is not easy to change the under law because of the religious ritual sentimental values that is attached with us so what is our basically while addressing the body part first body part we will talk about the things that are why there is an opposition so we will talk about that there is a religious notion religious values that is adopt uh, to it then the basic thing this is against the indian conception of the family next one will be the stereotypes or what the society thinks society thinks this is unnatural or against the law that is why discrimination social stigma you can quote the example and last one is with respect to impact on the other, another laws okay the things that are codified that are also very much basically linked to the religious ceremonies religious values that is why there is an opposition now coming to our second body part that talked about how the supreme court has basically promoted individual autonomy so what you will be dealing with here is 
you will make a subheading or line basically that supreme court through its various judgments have <coughs> promoted individual autonomy in the following ways okay so where you will be talking about the various supreme court judgments that how over the period of time supreme court has stated that marriage is a personal choice it lies within the privacy domain of the individual everyone have should have the freedom to basically select the partner of their choice so the major judgments we will be writing about here first of all you can write about is constitutional bench judgment that was there with respect to right to privacy as a fundamental right protected under the indian constitution that was the k s putta swami judgment that was there that okay right to privacy is a fundamental right of the constitution and marriage if you remember our current affairs class basically discussion in hadia case the supreme court has stated that intimacy of the marriage lies within the zone of privacy and privacy is a fundamental right so there should be basically no opposition next one navtej johar judgment you will state that the supreme court stated that family marriage procreation or the sexual orientation are all integral to the dignity of the individual the privacy of the individual again the focus is on privacy the privacy of the individual recognizes an inviolable right to determine how the freedom shall be exercised again what the supreme court is trying to say here is that it is a personal decision of the individual that how i want to select my partner how i want to exercise freedom of selecting my partner okay and it is a basically private thing it is a right part of right to privacy and basically it should protect the dignity of the individual if that individual is able to enjoy his or her freedom with respect to deciding their partner it basically will be protecting the dignity of that individual next one hadia judgment we have already discussed that that intimacy of marriage lies within the zone of privacy the choice of partner whether within or outside the marriage lies within the exclusive domain of each individual again very important judgment which promotes individual autonomy individual autonomy over society specifically states that see this line read it again and again that the choice of a partner within or outside marriage lies within the exclusive domain of each individual it is a personal right of the individual next one you can also highlight the recent judgment on inter caste and inter interfaith marriage where again supreme court has specifically stated that the matters of dress food idea ideology love partnership they are the central aspects of identity identity means again here the personal choice society has no role to play in determining our choice of partners again individual autonomy over society that it should be the individual it is a these things are a part of individual identity and it is the individual that should basically determine how i want to exercise my freedom i how i want to basically determine my choice of selecting the partner moving forward so in uh, again here what are the basic judgments ks putta swami navtej johar hadia judgment recent judgment on inter caste and in, interfaith and next one you can also write one more sorry that is a sabri mala judgment also that is state supreme court stated that individual freedom prevails over group rights again that individual freedom should be respected that individual freedom cannot be hinged upon what are the feelings of society or what are the feelings of majority okay and in conclusion what you will be writing is that same sex marriages should be recognized to uphold article 14 of the constitution so that every citizen can enjoy freedom and equality so this will be your conclusion so again i will basically make you a rough framework that how you will be attempting the question so that you structure of the answer is very clear introduction part basically decriminalizing of section 77 then linking paragraph 
that it is not recognizable then in body part you have two parts part one and part two part one you will highlight about the opposition okay to same sex marriage in part two you will be highlighting the supreme court judgments where individual uh, supreme court has stated that individual autonomy matters over the uh, society and then you will write the conclusion that we need to uphold article 14 of the constitution and same sex marriages should be recognized okay this was the uh, how the way the answer should have been attempted okay i hope the structure of the answer and the contents are very clear so thank you very much this will be all from my side